we have some giant news and this is a giant step in the right direction for the channel and I'm giantly excited for this and I'm rapidly running out of things to put giant in a sentence with. But if you haven't guessed it from that chopper intro, this chopper is officially a giant brand ambassador. It's going to be new bike day tomorrow, so I'm super excited for that. And if you're wondering, how on earth has this chopper pulled this off? I don't know myself. I'm as mind blown as you guys probably are, but I'm super excited for it and it's a mega opportunity for me. I've put a lot of work in on the channel and if it wasn't for you guys watching the videos, subscribing, this wouldn't be possible. So it's absolutely wicked. But to be transparent how it came about, they messaged me on Instagram and I'll be completely honest, I thought it was one of them like spam accounts messaging me and they were like, look, we've got J. Koalulu. What we don't have is someone with charisma, banter, extremely good looks. And I was like, you found your guy. No, they didn't say that. They basically contacted me, we had a meeting, it all started like before Christmas and now we're at the point where contract is signed and I will be getting a new bike. I can finally use that clip. They gave it to me. Oh, that's what a wife. No, seriously. <laughs> How much was it? They gave it to me. They are going to be supporting me with bikes. So to be totally transparent with you, what's going to change on the channel? Absolutely nothing. I was really surprised that all they've said in terms of the channel content, they just want me to keep being enthusiastic about riding bikes, racing, and be on a giant bike, which is absolutely wicked. I'm more than happy to oblige by that. Obviously, I've got the CX bike already, and that's the mega thing. Like, it's a brand I believe in, already ride, uh, support. And my first ever road bike was actually a giant TCR. I asked Gravel Granny to try and find a clip of it. It turns out 20 years ago, they used potatoes to film. So you can't actually see the bike, which is a shame. But basically, on the channel, everything's going to stay the same. So any videos I make that are about the bikes, about Giant, are my interest and I have chosen to make them. The only difference will be over on my Instagram, I'm going to be doing some collaboration posts, making some content for them. So there will be a post out tonight on my Instagram. Head over there, comment on it. Wow, a bike as good looking as its owner. No, probably don't comment that. Comment chopper or comment something nice like congratulations, I don't know. But it'd be wicked if you head over there, like it comment because like the engagement will be good look good on me i guess so thanks to you legends but in terms of what they're supporting me with i will be getting two new tcx frames i'm getting a new xc bike which we're picking up tomorrow which will be in this video in a minute and i will be getting a new helmet obviously the frames i think they're waiting till the new model comes out for 2024 slash 25 season the xc bike which if you know the giant brand, there's a, <laughs> there's one XC bike that you know I probably will be getting. We're picking it up tomorrow. Super excited. So let's go and get it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is new bike day. Rocket. What? What? No, don't do that. Look at the mess and look at all the soap. Just... What mess? The time has come, ladies and gentlemen. It is new bike day. Rocket, how does it feel to live with a sponsored athlete? It's revolutionary, it's changed overnight. I'll tell you what it's like living with a rocket. Last night, I go for a wee in the night, I come out the bathroom, who stood outside in darkness like a ghost. Like this. Yes, the rocket. I nearly karate chopped her into next week. Uh, you go on energy chop. She always gave me a bloody heart attack, but we're heading over to Giant Guildford. The Giant HQ have sent the bike there for me to collect. I'm super excited. I'm excited. The rocket's like, oh, another bike to put in the house. But let's go, baby. Right then, big up Del Boy for the pedals. Always pulls through, doesn't he? But I'm expecting a red carpet out the front. Like, nah, prob probably not. I'm not that big time. It's gonna be like a big un, what do they call it? Unrevealing. That's not, a big reveal, a big reveal. Like whip off a, Thing, but oh, you think it's like a red... yeah, red ribbon round it. 
No, I don't think so. Just going to roll out a bike. I'm not sure if I'm going to be allowed to film in there because if there's like customers, I don't want to be shoving the camera in people's face. So we'll see. The rocket will try and do something and then I'm going to have to get like a, a chopper Instagram picture out the front here. Well, the rocket's going to have to. I'm just, I'm just the face, the beauty baby. I think that was it. I did want to check though. I'm racing tomorrow and I'm not going to get a chance to ride it. I'm going to be like straight on the start line. So that's the, re I haven't had remote lockout before. It's yeah. that there. Right, so you got drop a post on top. Drop a post, so, yeah. Obviously that just, just drops like that and then that's there. Can't believe that. That's your fork lockout. And the rear. And the rear. So rear up front. front. And then to unlock What features. ones, that's, Back is it or front? Front. So both. So front lockout and rear lockout. You pull both and it locks them both at the same time. Uh, can you do just rear or? Uh, I'm not into I think it's just. Just one build, do switch. both. Yeah, so it's Okay, just, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. You can buy a switch though. I know there's a company that doesn't where it's got four paddles on it rather than just two. So you can lock them out independently. Um, Christ, a lot, a, lot of, uh, a lot of buttons here for me. Yeah. Spaceship. Yeah. yeah, I'll probably need to do a test run today. Um, and then other than that, obviously you've got your new T-Type. I've used T-Type before. I've got the old set up. With this one, it shifts. It's got certain spots in the set where it shifts. So you won't be able to just bang it through the gears like you would in the other one really quickly. It, it shifts sequentially. So what I mean by that is that if you just want to pick the rear wheel up, I'll spin it. Yeah. As you're shifting, it will do it slowly. And then does it independently because I'm, I'm pressing the button as fast as I can, but it'll still shift even after I stop pressing it. That's not me pressing it, that's just it doing it itself. And then you can shift under load on that as well because of the new uh, cassette design. Oh, well. yeah, because is, is this the one that's like meant to, if you hit the rear mech, it stays on or something? Yeah, so there's no, there's no derailleur hanger on this. Um, it's all run through the axle. So rather than having a derailleur hanger here, it just bolts on itself using the sides of the derailleur. And then there's no limit screws to adjust them like either. Where's the back? Is it the same battery? Yeah, Mine's so just flicks off there, perfect. And then rather than it having it on the outside of like all the XX stuff, they keep it in here just to protect the battery. Ah, uh, I but see. But on the higher end uh, T-type stuff, it is as the as the old stuff just to reduce the weight. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> Too scared to get it dirty now. <laughs> yeah, it is. Perfect, thanks guys. I think it'll all be all right. I'm, yeah. I'm really, when it comes to like the setup, I'm not that fussy, to be honest. Well, that won't move the brake though, will it? Just, oh yeah, maybe if you could move that over a touch, that'd be good, cause it's like right where my thumb is. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so that's gonna have to give us a yeah, the in there, so. Perfect, thanks. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Do you, how much do you have for scales to see how much it weighs? Yeah, we haven't weighed it. Yet. Just because, I mean, there's so many uh, bike pervs on YouTube that be like, how much does it weigh? And I just know I'm going to get that question and I'll, I'll have to like stand on my scales at, ho at home holding it. Sorry, it'd be a pain. I went to lift it out of the box and it chucked it through the roof because you <laughs> brace yourself for it to be normal weight. There we go, it's about 10 kilos. Honestly, have a look at that. I'm absolutely buzzing with this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to get on. Oh, how is it on? I know. It's I don't want to get it dirty. That's all I've got, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. All of my techers in one, one bit. Ah, oh, that's it. Wow. The guys in the shop were super helpful. Moved the shifter over for the um, lockout because it was hitting my thumb a little bit. Fitted my pedals for me. Honestly. I'm so excited, I'm like a little kid. Look at that. 
and most importantly, big thing, it's got a chain catcher. You know your boy had some problems dropping his chain. So, got a chain catcher now. Full lockout, which I wanted as well. <laughs> I'm a lucky man. Right, got the rockets and lunch goods. And now there is a... That is a weighty bag. I've got my yogurt for the week. And now there's a little patisserie here. So we might get a pastry for, for the lady as she's come and filmed me mm. get a bike. So it didn't tickle the rocket's fancy. So we're, we're going to try a different bakery. She's very particular. No, you, just don't. you just just need the goods, don't you? They need to look popping. They need to look popping pop pop too. Goods acquired, ladies and gentlemen. A chocolate cruffin, I think that is. And a sausage roll for this monster look at her that's made up for the old bike what a day to be alive rocket new bike pastry in your gob lovely <laughs> So that is the news, that is the bike. I'm gonna do a proper video where I break down all the parts on it, etc., etc., and give you a little, probably take it out for a spin with you. But I just wanna say a massive thank you to Giant Guildford for setting it up and helping me out today. Giant UK for believing in me, what I'm creating on the channel, etc. And I honestly can't believe it. A massive thank you to them because it blows my mind still. And I just wanna thank you guys that subscribe, like the videos, comment on them and view me talking absolute waffle with the rocket. Hello. I don't, I don't talk waffle. Oh, she, she don't talk waffle. But <laughs> thanks to you guys. I haven't had a chance to test it out because we've had to do some car stuff with the rocket. We've also been editing this video because I want to try and get it out tomorrow. So we're just out for a walk. I am going to be out on the bike tomorrow for the first time and I'm jumping straight into a race. I know what you're thinking, that's silly, George. Is it silly, Rocket? But I don't want to hear it. Don't comment below. I'm going, I'm racing a Gorek tomorrow because it's one of the local ones for me. So I just don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss out. I'm going to jump straight in, do a practice lap on it tomorrow and then just whack it in a race. You've got to love it, love racing. But the plan is a little stroll with the wife and while I was editing, she's whipped up some cookies, haven't you, Rocket? I mean, I'm uh, I'm like half annoyed at her because. Can I just say to you, you'd be annoyed if I made them. And you yeah, well, I just wanted you off my back so I could edit for a bit, but oh god, there's mud everywhere. But in all seriousness, I am trying to eat healthy, Rocket. So a cookie is not ideal. Someone's gonna force feed it to you. Well, you can't not eat it now. <laughs> But I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you to you legends for watching and I'll catch you in the next one, which will be race day on the new Giant Anthem tomorrow.